for example, for example, elevating a dog in. Reverence is only name. Lift is name higher. Thank you. Praise him. Worship him. Honor him and reverence him. Lift his name higher forever. God has been most faithful. God has been most faithful. We're not going to take his mercy and his grace for granted. Father, we thank you very much this morning and we give you all the glory. We give you the glory that do your name. We give you the glory. We exalt you and we worship you. There is no one to be likened unto you. There is no one to be compared. There is no one we can compare with you. Thou, O oh God, who live from eternity to eternity. Thou, O oh God, who cannot be compared with anyone. Thou, O oh God, who have been from time immemorial. We worship your name and we exalt that triumph deity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come to you, Lord, even this hour and this moment, and we say, take all the glory forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are good. Lord Jesus, you are great. Lord Jesus, you are wonderful. Lord Jesus, you are amazing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you, Lord, this day. I want to appreciate you for everything you're doing, everything you will ever be doing in our lives. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you take all the glory forever and ever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, do what only you specializes in doing this morning, even as we call upon thy name. Thank you, Lord, because we know all of the things you are doing in the past, you will do more even this time. We have seen your hand in the past, we have seen your invisible hand, we have seen your power, we have seen your glory, we have seen your splendor, we have seen your beauty, we have seen your intervention, we have seen you repairing lives, we have seen you repairing homes, we have seen you, you know, delivering people who call upon thy name. I will come to you and they look up to you for intervention. And Lord, we know it is not peculiar to just group of people or selected people. It is for everyone who call upon you out of sincerity of heart. And Lord, we have come. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you will have your will literally even today as we call upon thy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. At this time, we want to go before God as we read the book of uh, Genesis. In Genesis chapter 18, and the Lord appeared unto him in the place of Mary. That's uh, Genesis 18, verse 1. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked. And lo, three men stood by him, and he lift up his eyes and looked. We are going to pray that God will make us a gatekeeper indeed, as men. The God of heaven will make us a gatekeeper indeed. The Holy Ghost will make us a gatekeeper indeed. We saw here clearly Abraham was sitting in a place. And we were told that he looked at the right now. God will open our eyes. God will open our eyes. We will sit at the gate. We will be on a watchword. 
We will not be careless husbands. We will not be visionless husbands. We will not be husbands that cannot see spiritually. Oh God, open our eyes spiritually. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let our eyes be opened. Let our eyes be opened. Let our eyes be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's talk to God in prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, coming to verse, that verse 2, and we're told that as he lift up his eyes and he looked, three men stood by him, and when he saw them, he ran, there, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed his head toward the ground. That there's something about Abraham here. You know that you could see somebody or you could see people and not design who they are. So Abraham had discernment. He knew that these were not ordinary uh, visitors or ordinary people on the streets. He could discern. We want to pray that the discernment, proper discernment, God will grant to us. Proper discernment, God will help us. Our destiny help us will not pass us by. Our destiny helper will not walk away from us while we are just looking and we cannot discern in the spirit. Lord, give us this summons. As men, give us this summons. As husbands, as fathers, give us this summons. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, we're looking at that uh, passage again. Now, we saw that it was because he could discern, and that was why he knew that they weren't ordinary. And we saw how he bowed himself toward the ground. It was because he knew this was not ordinary visitors that place. And so he bowed himself. Now in verse 3, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet. We are going to pray that we will find favor before God. We will find favor. Our ministry will find favor before God. Our mental life, our marriage will find favor before God. Our children will find favor before God. Our spouse will find favor before God. Can we pray now? Abraham said, if I have found favor in thy sight, we will find favor before God. God's favor is unparalleled. God's favor cannot be compared. God's favor is unusual and uncommon. Let's pray and tell the Lord. God's favor is not like every other favor you see around. Oh, Jesus, we will find favor before you. When God favors a man, you will know it. You will see it. It will be visible. It will be real. It will be raw. In the name of Jesus Christ, when God favors a man, you can tell. When God favors your marriage, you will be able to tell. When God favors your ministry, you'll be able to tell. 
when God favor your children, you'll be able to say it. It will be seen, it will be noticeable, it will be visible. Pray. Favor from heaven. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. He was able to recognize the people, and then he asked that he, get, he, he refresh them and all of that. And then he said, I will fetch a muscle of bread and comfort you in your heart. And after you have passed on, for, there, for therefore are you come to your servant. And he said, do so as thou hast said. You see, Abraham initiated something here. And this was what I was telling the people in the church yesterday. Uh, and then I was telling them, you know, having a desire to do something, even when you don't have the means yet, and then you just have a desire, you want to do something for God, God is going to reward you and bless you immensely for that. We saw here Abraham wanting to uh, refresh God's people, wanting to refresh God's people, wanting to refresh God's people. And uh, now, now, you think about this. You see God's servant over there, Pastor Matthew, refreshing God's servant, sending a time to maybe virtually everyone and all of that. Now, that's like refreshing the people of God and refreshing leaders and all that. And there is no doubt, reward and blessing must come its way. It's a, it's a must. Do you know that what Abraham did here, Abraham could as well just allow them to just go. And maybe, maybe his blessing would have passed him. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe he would not have received anything because it was why they were eating. Now, let me read verse 6. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knit it, and make cakes upon their legs. And Abraham ran unto the herb and fetched a cow tender and good and gave it unto the young man. And he hastened to dress it. Can you see? Can you see the hospitality of Abraham? Can you see how hospitable Abraham was? And he took butter and milk and the cup which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree and they did it. What an hospitable man. What an hospitable man. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. I, I, it was why they were eating. They have enjoyed the meal. They have enjoyed what was presented to them. He gave them the very best. He gave them the very best. And when they enjoyed that meal, you know, in Yoruba, uh, there's what we call suri, suri, to suri for somebody. Like when you suri for someone, like that, that was exactly what they did. They have, they have been all right. They have been okay. They have been taken care of. And so they needed to story for him. They needed to bless him. They needed to say something. They needed to make a declaration over his family for what he has done. We are going to pray. May we not miss the day of our visitation. May we not miss the day of our visitation. May we not miss the day that everyone has, uh, you know, my, um, uh, man to change our destiny and change our lives and change our story. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, may the Lord help us to descend. May the Lord help us. We will not miss our day of visitation. Oh, Jesus, help me. Oh, Jesus, help me. Let's talk to God in prayer. The Lord will help us. We will not miss the day of our visitation. Look at Abraham here. Look at Abraham here. He did all, the, all of the things he did because he was discerning. Because, he, you know, there, there are people you go to their house. You go to their house. Even when food is at home, they are not ready to give you anything. They are not ready to present anything to you. They are not ready to, nothing, they can even tell you this uh, Tunubu economy, me, present anything, and they may not know they are entering something. They may not know that pastor they are presenting water to, or presenting that drink to, or presenting one thing to. That pastor can sure, can make a declaration that we open a generational blessing, a transgenerational blessing. Like uh, uh, the case of Elijah, in the case of Elisha, in Jesus' name we pray. Let me say something quickly here. The scriptures say, whoever give the prophet a little cup of water, just a little, just a little, it was Jesus who was even saying it. He will receive the, the prophet blessing. And they will receive. You know, sometimes when a time comes to us from God's servant, Pastor Matthew, we will just say, oh, thank you, sir. God bless you, sir, all those things. 
Well, those things should not be taken for granted. Yes, he's a servant of God himself. And when other servants of God say, oh, God bless you, God replenish you, and all that, the pastor should be saying a big amen. And then accept that declaration. And you will not know how those things are working. When this one says, God bless you, this one says, God bless you, the other one says, God bless you. And a lot of God bless you here and there. And God begins to rain an uncommon and unusual blessing on every side. Not even because of the prayer you are praying, but because of the declaration of the servant of God. Many, many do not know that by being stingy, they are injuring themselves from open door. Do you know the scripture say there is he that scattered yet increases? That paradoxical statement. That's paradoxical statement. But there is he that, that owes them more than it meets. Yet he's tending to poverty. That is, he will hold his hand, he will tight his hand, he will not let go anything. The Bible says such people, even while they are trying to hold, yet they are leading and tending and moving towards poverty. He now went further to say in verse 25 of Proverbs 11, a liberal soul shall be made fast, and he that water shall be water. Abraham water those men, water the Lord, and water those three angels. I hope you know out of these four people. God himself was there, and three angels were among uh, the, 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 uh, the accompanying God in that regard. What, what, what a visitor, what a visitor, what a visitor. Visitor coming from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we will not miss our own visitation too. Let me show you something before I come back to our text. In Genesis chapter 21, in verse 1, And the Lord visited Sarah, as he has said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Hallelujah. We want to pray. God will visit our wife. God will visit all the women on the platform who are looking up to God for children. God will visit. God will visit. God will visit. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm waiting verse. I'm waiting verse. Um, and in verse 9. And they say unto you, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. They told the they, they told the one categorically the gender of the kind of child the wife will be having. Shall have a son, not shall have a child. They were so specific, I'm telling you. And Sarah heard it in the tent, which was behind it. Sarah had the prophecy and the declaration that was made. We are going to pray right now and tell the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God's declaration over our life, God declaration, God promises that we have claimed and we have uh, we have uh, we have been believing God for for manifestation. Let it come to reality upon our home in the precious name of Jesus. Do you believe something for your children? Believe God, it will come. As God says something about your wife, believe God, it will come. As God says something about you, believe God, it will come. As God says something about your own, believe God, it will come. What has God said about your ministry? Believe God, it will come. What has God said about your job, about your employment, about the work you are doing? Believe God, it will come. What are you believing God for? It will come. And Abraham, Abraham, the scripture said he believed God. We were told in scripture he believed God, and it was counted for him for righteousness. Abraham believed God, and it was counted for him for righteousness. Abraham believed God, and it was counted for him for righteousness. Do we believe God? Do we believe his promises? Do we believe the prophecy? Do we believe the declaration? Let's believe God this morning, and it will work for us, and it will be so for us, and it will come to reality in the precious name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.
are going to play as I hand over to Pastor Matthew. We are going to pray last play. We are going to ask the Lord. In that verse, the verse 11, and Abraham and Sarah were old and were stricken in A, and it seems to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After after I am was, was old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Where did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a shorty be a child which I am old? Is there anything to add for the Lord? At the time I pointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. I like us to understand something here. Sarah laughed, not because she was a yes, she laughed, because this is so common with everybody. It's like somebody who, who is at a particular age, for sisters, for example, let's say 45, 50, and all of that. And the pastor is telling you you will get married next year, as so so time, as so so time. And then you were almost like, how? Oh, how is it going to happen? I didn't marry at 20, I didn't marry at 25, I didn't marry at 30, not even at 14, I'm 55, I'm this. Uh, who is going to marry me? And then it is a common thing that people will want to doubt. It's a common thing people will just laugh over and all that. There are things that we will just count as almost impossible. It's like somebody who is earning 50,000 naira, and the prophecy is coming to him that he's going to buy, uh, buy a car or he's going to build a house at so so time. And he will laugh now. He will laugh. He will just laugh. Well, he may say amen, but if he is not taking it without it. And so Abraham, uh, Sarah looking at her age, it is something. And then looking at that age, at that 89 day about, and then wondering. And uh, the scripture even said that it, uh, it was uh, the, uh, it has, it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. That means all of the signs that show that somebody can still conceive, all those things were in there again because she was was old. She was was old. Despite her doubt, despite her unbelief, God still brought the promise to pass. Hallelujah. Despite Amen. her doubt, despite her unbelief, hey, Jesus, may the Lord, may the Lord help me. May I be favorable. May I open receive mercy. No wonder that man told Jesus, help thou my unbelief. And the promise, and the daughter of the son now was healed totally. Jesus did not even look at the unbelief of that man. The man knew he was, he was doubting. The man knew he had an issue. And he cried out to Jesus, help my unbelief. And the son was still healed. The son was still delivered. And in this case again, we saw this woman, Sarah, she doubted. She had unbelief. But yet, what God says superseded that unbelief. We are going to cry unto God as we round up now. We are going to pray. Are there issues in our lives and family? We have prayed and prayed and prayed. And it's like no solution. And we have come to accept it like normal thing. Maybe this is my call. Maybe this is the turn in my flesh till I die. Not at all. It will not be the turn in your flesh till you die. God will show you mercy. Your doubt will be taken away. Your unbelief will be taken away. And God will bring that thing to pass. We will see the miracle. We will see the intervention. We will see it. And it will come to reality in Jesus' name. Over to Pastor Matthew. God bless you, sir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, we will continue in claiming the promises of the Lord in the book of Exodus. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as we are reminding God, his promises over us. This year, before the year comes to our end, we see the impact of his uh, in promises in our life in Jesus' name. Then he Amen. said, I will take you as my people, and I will be your God. Imagine, when God takes you as his, uh, uh, as his people, uh, we have seen a lot of people uh, that we call them mental. I think recently I saw one of our publicity of our leader our, that is leading us today. I think it was a woman. He, she called him uh, his mentor. Uh, I particularly, you can see me name my child after the, somebody, somebody I love very well. His name is Akinwumi because of the way I only look at him. I name my son, my my son after him. That's his mentor. 
uh, when we are talking about those mental, when you see uh, my my child as a mentor, if you see the way they always talk together, move together, the way the mom always treat him, you will be uh, you will be surprised. That human being, see the way we will love our mentor, see the way they the mentor they they love us. But we are not talking about Almighty God. Now look at all the promise that was there. That is there. He said, "I will take you as my people, and I will be your God." Then you say, "I know that I am the Lord your God, who bring you out from under the burden of the Egyptians." Many of us, God has done us a lot in our life. Uh, the leader that that lead us, including your humble servant here, we know where God has used His mighty hand to take us out out of the family. Uh, t- uh, trade all of the family, what I can cause, what I can cause. I don't want to use causes, but that is very common in the family. In, in, in the family, if we use cause, it, it is not, it's not too much. And I say, and I will bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I will give it to you as a heritage. I am the Lord. We will now remind God today that Father, the day. Is passing by every time. When am I going to get to that promised land? Mm. When am I going to be in that? You want to say, oh, Abraham got to it at the age of 90. Abraham got to it at the age of 95. Yes, by the grace of the Lord, we are going to be more than 90 years old. But can you div- you can you compare the way people are passing to eternity in the time of Abraham to this particular mm. age of our own? There's a lot of differences. That's why you need to call upon the name of the Lord. Father, do not let my glory meet me in the grave. Let me get to the promised land from now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The King of King, Lord of Lords. Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Do not let my glory meet me in the grave. Do not let them bury my my, my, my glory with me in the grave. Call upon the name of the Lord. King of kings, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let me receive my glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your promises come onto my life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Remind him, remind him that the day, another day has passed by now. Father, another day has passed by our, yesterday. Let us remind him, yes, he knows. Yes, we are millions of people in the world. In the world. But he knows every one of us, but your own grace is spectacular. That the reason why you need to call upon the name of the Lord, that King of the King, Lord of God, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Take me to promised land. Father, take me to promised land. King of kings, take me to promised land. Almighty Father, take me to this is why we not pass me by. This minute will not pass me by. If I see anything, Almighty Father, that we are hindered, that we are obstacles in my life, in the life of my wife, in the life of my children, in my own life, Almighty Father, the Sovereign has said, I have no power on my own. He said, I have no power on my own. Call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. From the north, from the south, from the east, let them look me for photo in the name of Jesus Christ. All the garments of those who eat and do not able to have Jesus name. All the men, all the all the garments of not getting the destination, all the garments of frustration, all the garments of belittling, all the bucket of not making it, but not able to make an impact in the world, all the garments of not able to make an impact in your own life, in my own life. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. All the garments of poverty, all the garments of not if I not bed, I will not eat. All the garments I need to be born. Before I can oh, make life, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 Lord,
prosper. All the garments of prophecy, all the garments that God gave them, all the garments my family they have never done it before. All the garments you cannot go beyond this. All the garments of limitation. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in my life, in the life of my children. In my life, in the life of my wife, in my life, in the life of whosoever concerned concerning, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus that you take a claim away in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, turn them into the pieces. Father, turn them into pieces. Lord, turn them into pieces. All the time and the pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your favor call upon me. Lord, your favor call upon me. Lord, your favor call upon me. Lord, upon me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the grace of the Lord, anything must happen, must happen in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, one day I remember I woke up in the morning Monday and I asked a pastor in New Jersey and I said, ah, Pastor, let me tell you something. The people who are rich, we call them rich people. Some of them, they will wake up one day and they will take this one, they combine this one together. They take this one, they call the, they, they put it the other money or whatever they want, and they will go into the 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 the, 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 the uh, fetched place or whosoever, and they will say, well, you know what? I want you to combine this thing together for me or whatever that fetched place have. He will combine it together for them, and then they will start becoming rich. And I say, why should I able to come before God? And God, this is what I want, and God will do it for me. Eternity is in the hand. He will not let me lose eternity because of our money in Jesus' name. He Amen. will not let you lose eternity because you have money in Jesus' name. Amen. But prosper is a cause. Yes, I agree. It's a, it's a cost garment that we need to tear apart, that we need to tear apart in our life. And it's a, it's a result of that. If unbeliever can go to a fetish place, if unbeliever can go to the form of God in fraternity, if the unbeliever can go to Boom Babala Wada or the Allah Far, all, all those holy that do not know God, and they combine things together for them and let them become rich. Both wealth and eternity is in the hand of the Lord. You will not call upon the name of the Lord with all with all enthusiasm, oh. with all your power. That Father, I don't want to be in this condition again. I don't want to be in this situation again. If these people we are talking about, you are God. They are combining what you have, what you have created. They are combining the power you have given to it. They are combining it to make money, to make wealth, to make children, to make this. Make, what about me? That is your son. Why do you combine it in spiritual realm? And whether tear the garment of poverty, tear it out of my life. You will not call upon the name of the Lord. Rather, I come before you this morning. Whatever Ooh. they call the, 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 the garment of poverty, whatever Father. they call the garment of in, in, uh, 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 in, 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 not I able to step beyond my, beyond Lord. my, my colleague. Yes, the power, the, 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 the garment that do not let me be the head of jail. The garment of do not let me attract the way. I don't come back to me. And of course, it has to be a thing that we have money in essence. And yet, all our ways that start to think of the Lord of Lords, Father, we do pray, we do a lot of things that things of this happen. Oh Lord, we pray. You are the God that created the heavens and the earth. Oh Lord, you created the money. You created everything we pray that you will have. Nothing you cannot do. There's nothing you cannot do. 
though the darkness of the wife, though the laughing of the wife, there are at my age. Is this possible? Father in heaven, we pray, no matter how we have doubted you, no matter how we have laughed at your promises, saying, ah, even though uh, if heaven comes down, would this thing be possible? Father, we pray, you are a faithful God. Fulfill your word and your promises in our lives, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord Amen. God in heaven, we come before your throne. Like my pastor said, uh, the unbelievers will go to their abbeys. They will go to their far. They will go to their war leader. And they will conjure things for them. Say, go and bring human parts. Go and bring this. Go and bring that. Do those things truly make money? Mm. No. It is the devil that know how he manipulates and give them difficult assignments, but yet they still make money. Although their life is shortened by the money they have made, but yet they still make money. Oh Lord God in heaven, if the abbeys can conjure things for his mm. servant, for the servant of the devil, and they make money, how long, oh Lord, will you look at your children? We have conjure in prayers. We have we have come in in faithfulness. We have come in righteousness. We have come begging, saying, Lord, take us to the promised land that you have promised. Oh, Lord God in heaven, we know that you are a faithful God. You answer your children. Father, we pray that you answer us speedily, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever is entering our prayers. You said in the book of Isaiah 59, verse uh, 1 and 2, that your hand is not sure that you cannot save. Your ear is not heavy that you cannot hear us, but our iniquity separate us between you. If there be any iniquity in our life, if there be any sin in our life that is unknown to us, Father, we pray through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary, have mercy on us, wash our sins away, and answer us speedily, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O Lord, all the requests we have brought before you all these years, we have cry to you on behalf of our pastor leader. We have cried unto you on behalf of many of, of us. us. We are still saying that we have not still saying the answer to this prayer. It doesn't mean it does not answer prayer. Father, anywhere the fault is, I know it is our own. This morning we are praying that through the blood and sacrifice of Christ on Calvary, have mercy on us and answer us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. We commit, O oh Lord, this new week into your hand. Today is the first working day. We commit all that to be doing, Lord, this week, O oh Lord, into your hand. We pray that you breath upon all our labor and bless us, O oh Lord, provide for us, protect us from all evil. That at the end of the week, O oh Lord, we have every call to come and say, Thank you, Father. You are faithful. We have done it again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We commit, O oh Lord, all our brothers that are not here into your hand. We know it's an awkward time here in Nigeria. People are preparing some already at work. Father, we commit them, O oh Lord, to your hand. As so we bless us this morning, we extend the blessing unto them. And we pray, Lord, that you bless every one of us, our families, around about us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayer, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just, uh, just sing this one. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall, it shall be permanent. Be what the Lord does so for us. us. It shall be, be permanent. Amen. In Jesus' name. The, the people of the world will celebrate with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The people of the kingdom, they will celebrate with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The hand of the Lord shall fall upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And anywhere we face, anywhere we go to, anywhere we lay our, our, our this leg on, in, in, among our brethren, between the brethren, among the people who are outside, between the people who are outside, they, they are, I, I mean, Almighty Father, I pray, you will be, we will be a blessing to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Like, the Lord Jesus Christ, from this moment, oh Lord, in, among our colleagues, in the ministry, financially, physically, socially, in all areas of our life, you will raise our head up in the name 
name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The power in that blood, we will not look at the hand before we, we, we were blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. We Amen. will not look at the hand and the hand of the people before we eat in the name of Jesus Christ. We Amen. will not look at the hand of the people before we buy, we, come, we use life in the name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. by the power in the blood of Jesus, we shall be made a first center all over the world. People will know us because we attach ourselves to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, glory of the Lord, we continue to shine in our life, shine in our life, shine all everything that belongs unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And people will call us child of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, Surely the goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. I will call you on WhatsApp call now, sir.